Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for October. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I've been sitting here hemming and hawing whether I should do my daily next or do Aquarius next and you know, I decided that Aquarius is next. Anyhow, I, I have a deck down here in front of me that you can't see yet. I, I was looking through my decks to see which one was for you and I, I picked up a, two other decks. This is the third choice. Um, keep in mind that everything that I say to you, you need to take into consideration. Every single word that I have already said and until now is a message for you. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of October, okay? Something to do with the third choice. I didn't realize that until I, the words came out of my mouth, so I don't know what that means. Anyhow. So, we're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. Keep in mind, this is for October. But it could resonate now. You know, the timing is fluid. So, anyway, I decided to use this deck right here. Okay? Um, and the reason I try, I would decided to use it, first I looked I looked on the bottom, or I pulled a couple cards out, and I kept looking. I was like, oh, this deck feels like it's the deck, but I want to keep looking. And I got to this card, and this was the third card, as a matter of fact, which is pretty interesting. I pulled it out of the middle, and I looked at it very deeply, and I, it's the Eight of Coins. Okay, it's the Eight of Coins. So this is a card of hard work. It's a card of working, working really, really hard. You may not be noticing things. You may be feeling like you're trapped, okay? Because I see that you guys are really working hard to shine. Look at how much those are shining. I think that you are shining. I think maybe you don't know it, but I think that I, I see hard work here, a lot of hard work. You're probably focused very, very much on your work, working right up into the night, probably. You may be making plans, you know, uh, planning for success or, or planning out... Um, Making plans of some sort by the looks of things. Or following some sort of plans. This guy is in his robe. It's late at night. He's still working. Doing something that he is very um, passionate about by the looks of things. So you may be developing something. Something new. You may be coming up with something new. Maybe you're going to... Um, Maybe you're gonna do. Maybe you're gonna patent something. I don't know. Maybe maybe you have this idea that could make you some money, and you're in the developing stage. I don't know. I don't know if this is for you or not. This part, but it feels as though you have something that you are working on. You're working really hard to make it perfect. Um, but one thing that really struck me in this card was this Lenormand card out of a different deck. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to get it to focus. You see the birds? That's a different. That's from the uh, Lenormand deck. Okay? So that, that card is about freedom. Okay? That's about breaking free from something. Like freedom. Birds are a symbol of freedom. Okay? Um, so it's like you guys are, are... You need to break free from something. I wish I could find my Lenormand deck. I'm looking for it right now. My thing, it's not there. It must be in this drawer. I don't know where it is. Anyway, I, have this, I happen to have this deck. Now, birds are meant to be free. They're not meant to be caged. So I'm not sure, you know, maybe you're feeling caged and you need to fly. It's time for you to fly. I, that's what it feels like this is to me. You know, it's like the birds, they sing. They sing a song when they're happy. You know, maybe maybe you have to be ha There's something you need to break free from so that you can be happy. Um, these the birds cannot... This can also be a card of messages as well. Messages coming in. Uh, anyhow, um, that's why I chose this deck because I saw this card and I was like, yeah, this is it. But I'm going to show you one of the, the second card, okay? It's on the bottom now. I put it on the bottom. Okay, I did put it on the bottom. The devil. And it's funny, this was the second card I pulled, and I didn't I didn't realize uh you know the the I mean these actually play a part because birds aren't meant to be caged, and here we have a cage. So it feels as though you guys are, are in some sort of cage. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, I don't know. But you guys are are you have the ability to, to get out of it. Okay, the door is open, you can you can go. But you're choosing to stay. And the devil brings in unhealthy attachments. Something that is not healthy for you. Okay? So it's like you guys are keeping yourselves attached to something that is not healthy for you. It may look good. Maybe maybe it looks good on the surface, right? Maybe the maybe there's some sort of uh 
desire to have it, maybe it looks good. Maybe, maybe, you know, it feeds your, boosts your ego, feeds your ego in some way, but it's not healthy for you. So this tells me that you guys are caged and you need to get out of there. You need to fly out. You need to fly. It's time to fly. Okay. This is unhealthy. It's not good for you. It, it, it must do something for you. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Brings you some sort of gratification, but it's still not healthy, whatever it is. Let's start right here, Aquarius. It gives you some sort of comfort, obviously. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You do, though. You do. So, what do we have for Aquarius? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Maybe you're married to this unhealthy situation. Is that what it is? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out if that's what this is or if that has some other meaning. We'll find out here in a minute. A minute. You know, for some of you, maybe once you fly, once you break free, you could, you could run into the person that you're going to marry. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This has to do with marriage, though. This situation has to do with marriage. I think some of you are in an unha unhealthy commitment by the looks of things. What do we got? Ooh, by the book. By the book it is reversed. Maybe you need to stop going by the book. Maybe it's time to take a less than traditional approach. We got somebody here that has been going by the book, right? Been been following the following the rules, doing everything the way that there's maybe it's time to get unconventional and stop going by the book. Huh. We're gonna leave it reversed. It came out reversed, we're gonna leave it reversed. Now like I put the cards back in the deck, we're gonna shuffle and see what comes back out. Um yeah, I think it's time to go against the grain. Okay, it is. It is. What do we got for Aquarius, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we have for Aquarius for October? Ten of Coins. This is a card of legacy. It's a card of prosperity. It's a card of home. You may be permanent. You may be in a permanent situation that you feel like you can't leave. Maybe there's a bunch of assets there. This tens are completions. They are. So let's see what else we get. Ooh, seven of swords reverse. This is be careful. Be careful. This is getting caught. Somebody could get caught doing something. Somebody could get caught lying. Ooh, another ten. The wheel of change. This is the wheel of fate. So it's like it's time for a change. This is fate stepping in. Fate saying this cycle is over. This is a completion. This is a completion. You can't keep deceiving yourself. You can't keep lying to yourself if you are. This is this is be careful. Don't deceive yourself. If it's over, it's over. Don't stay just for the assets. Hmm. Just for the money. Somebody is, is like, they're, they're like living some sort of lie or whatever. Perhaps there's too much to lose. Maybe there's a home to lose that you're worried about losing the home or something like that. Anyway, this is a change in direction. A change in the wind, a change in the air. This is air. <laughs> strength. Yeah, you've got to find your strength, your confidence and your courage to do what's right, to let go. If you were to look this card up, this is about finding the strength to let go. It really is. Let's get to the rest of them. Ooh, looks like you got a new spark, a new flame, maybe a new partner, a new exciting opportunity here. Something that could really uh, blossom. This is something that could really excite you. There's definitely an exciting opportunity here. I think you've already seen it. I think that you've seen this opportunity. I think you're aware of it. 
Okay, I think that you are aware that you that that there is an attraction outside of this unhealthy situation. Absolutely there is. But you have to let go of the emptiness first. You need to sever the ties with whoever it is that is holding you back. That's what we got here. This is severing ties. It's time to be happy. You ain't got nothing to prove. Hold your head up high. Do what's right for you. And if people don't support you, then they aren't your people. So I feel like you know what you need to do and you're maybe you're making a plan. Maybe you're thinking about it. You're trying to figure out if this is really the right thing to do. Maybe that's why we saw the plan earlier. I think that you are in the process. Maybe you're in a, maybe you're isolating yourself. You are going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Um, but it looks to me as though you see another opportunity that really strikes your fancy. That's what it looks like to me. You do, but there's some sort of commitment here. Okay. You may be in a commitment. Somebody may already be in a commitment. They got this new, uh, attraction, but they don't want to get caught dealing with it. Um, for some of you, cause this, you know, you got to take bits and pieces, whatever resonates with you. For some of you, there is a new commitment coming into your life unexpectedly. And this could lead to something permanent. If you are single and you're watching this, you're completely single. You got a new partner here. It's a new sexual partner. I mean, this could be for if you're already married too. I see, I see, I see a new sexual partner that you could really have a deep, deep, deep bond with. A lot of passion. Very, very hot with that devil on the bottom as well. It's like there's, this is hot, 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 hot. It is hot. So if you are single, it's like there's, there is this passionate opportunity that could really excite you. Okay. Um, a lot of sexual energy here with that with that up here too i feel like um you're trying to figure out as to maybe maybe you got some pent-up sexual energy that needs to be released i don't know i don't know i don't know that could certainly be the case maybe you've been alone for a while maybe you feel like you're alone maybe you've been with somebody and you're still alone anyway i see loneliness here and maybe you need some, and, and the devil's about getting desires met as well, you know. So maybe you have some desires that need to be met. Um, three of Wands reverse dashed expectations. <laughs> Things not happening the way they were supposed to. You weren't prepared for it, maybe. Maybe you weren't prepared for this to happen. And all of a sudden, it happened. Because it's very sudden. This is like a sudden thing. Very sudden. All of a sudden there's this deep desire. You didn't, you weren't prepared for it. And now it's like you're getting prepared for it. It's like shit. Now what? Now I gotta walk away. But there's grieving. There's sadness. There's worry. It's like there's another opportunity here. If, if, if you are married, if you're the married person watching this, I think you've got a new partner here. I think you've got somebody that excites you, somebody that, you know, you probably want to be with, at least in a sexual manner, okay? And, you know, right, you're, you may be in this commitment and now you're stuck. And I feel like there's, there's sadness over uh, having to walk away. And part of this has to do with uh, home, you know, your home, losing your home or losing your stability or you stepping outside of your comfort zone. But there is an exciting opportunity here that could, and it, you know, whatever this is for some of you, if whoever this new person is, whoever this new exciting, this could lead to marriage as well. Well, whether you're in one now or not, or whether you're single, this could lead to marriage. This could lead to a commitment. It could in the future. Maybe three years from now. But you're going to have to find your strength and your courage to sever ties with whoever it is that, you know, you probably don't want to hurt this person, but I don't, I'm not sure if there's any love with that person. Is there any love with that person? Let's ask. Is there any love with that person? The other person. There's no happiness there. There's no more growth. Okay. There isn't. 
So I feel like you're looking for something more. And it's like, I got to do is keep going, keep going. You walk right into this passionate new beginning, but you're going to have to find your strength to do it. So I think this month, right around the corner, somebody is going to find their strength. Okay, they are. They're going to find their courage. Knight of Cups. This is wanting romance, wanting a relationship, wanting love. But in order to get it, you're going to have to let something go. And I can't make that up, okay? That is letting something go. That is no longer stable. It's no longer solid. Because you got somebody else here that is better suited for you. And that's what we got here. This is unexpected. This person is not your usual type. They don't fit the image, okay? They don't fit the image of the last one at all. Completely different than the last one. But the sexual attraction is so big, it's undeniable, Aquarius. Between both people, okay? Both people feel it. You and the other person. So I feel as though there's this unexpected lover that has shown up um entered into a scenario and now somebody is probably going to um well right around the corner somebody's gonna somebody's life is about to change their path is about to change direction one cycle is coming to an end that's what the wheel of fortune is okay it's like they brought this person into your life for a reason. Trust me, they did. There is a reason for this. You are meant to be, you know, live at your highest vibration. You are meant to be happy, okay? You are meant to uh, feel good, okay? You are. And I think that, that some door has opened unexpectedly with somebody that there is such a strong attraction that you it's undeniable this is like a some sort of connection like it's a soul this is a soulmate connection it is i feel as though uh you know who this person is already you've already met you've already you've already got had you met locked eyes with this person okay i do i think you know who this person is i feel as though um we got Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. Could be a Gemini as well. But it, I, my guess, I just think it's coming from this card. Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus. That's who I think it is with. Um, could be with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be with a Gemini. You may have to give up somebody. I do see that you have to give up somebody. I don't know who it is. It could be Leo. Um, we have Leo. We have Leo here, and we have a Leo here. Um, could be a Virgo. We have Virgo here as well. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. I see somebody needing to find the strength and the courage and the confidence to sever ties with somebody because they deserve love. It's like they deserve love. You deserve to have that relationship that you have been seeking. You deserve to not feel alone you deserve to have your needs met you deserve to be happy and I feel like they have brought this person into your life because it's time it's destiny these are both cards of destiny you have you have met up with somebody that you are destined to be with that's what I see but you do have to let go of something that is the ace of coins reversed it's an old relationship that is no longer making you happy. And that's what I got. Good luck.